Hello guys, welcome to my channel Civilology, the study of civil engineering. If you want to know about the bent up bar, its purpose and advantages, then you are on the right platform. You might find a lot of material about this topic on the internet, but in this video, we will have conceptual and technical discussion about its purpose. Bent-up bar is also called as crank bar. Crank bars are generally provided in beams and slaves. As we know that beams and slaves are lateral and tension members. Both are designed on the same parameters. It is important to know that slab is designed as that of beam having unit width. So behavior of both members is same under the loading. We will discuss behavior of these members under loading and the changes they undergo by explaining hogging and sagging taking place in the beam so that you can easily understand the purpose of bent up bars. Let's assume a beam supported on columns. Bottom portion of the beam experiences tension and to cater the positive moment bottom reinforcement is provided. Top reinforcement is provided to keep shear reinforcement intact. Shear reinforcement is provided in the form of stirrups which take up about 50% of the shear force. Remaining half portion is borne by crank bars which are bent up at the angle of 45 degree. Bent is made at the distance of L by 4 near the sports which is shear zone and experiences maximum shear force. That is why it is recommended that stirrups should be closely spaced in this portion of the beam. Keep watching guys, this is going to be very interesting. So when the beam is subjected to loading, it experiences bending at the mid span of the beam called as sagging. And the ends of the beam get slightly raised and are called as hogging. To make it easier to understand the purpose of crank bars, let assume the beam subjected to loading. This is the bending moment diagram. To understand the concept of SFD and DMD, click the I button or find the link in description. Here is neutral axis, which are represented by NA. Or you can say zero line. Center of the beam experiences maximum positive moment as sagging. To overcome the moment, bottom reinforcement is provided. You can observe negative moment near the sports below zero line and this is called as hogging. Similarly, you can observe in SFT that shear force is maximum near the both supports of the beam. So to cater shear reinforcement or negative moment up to the length of L by 4 distance from the sports, positive steel is provided in the form of crank bars and closely spaced stirrups. If reinforcement is not provided or if we do not provide steel, cracks will appear due to absence of shear reinforcement and are called as shear cracks and also called as inclined cracks. In the absence of bottom reinforcement, flexural cracks will appear which are due to bending and these cracks will appear in the middle of the beam. Same is the case with slab. It also undergo deformation as that of beam when load is applied. So to overcome these deformations, providing steel in this manner is proved to be very effective and economical. So now I hope you have understand the concept of providing crank bar. Now let's discuss its purposes. First one is bent up bar is provided to resist sagging bending moments which are maximum at the middle span. These are to provide or to withstand hogging shear force that is maximum at the sport. These are also provided to reduce the overall weight of the reinforcement bars required in the slab. It is also provided to reduce the amount of steel hence help in reducing the project cost. To prevent the failure of the slab due to shear force. To counter the risk of the failure of the slabs. To increase the strength of slab or beam. Bent up bars in slab is stronger from normal slab. 
by extending bars up to the sports we can also lower the risk of brittle failure due to higher compressive stresses causes the structure to collapse so that's all for today in the end you are requested if you are new to my channel please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates